Welcome back to another screencast about Maple 15. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to do basic arithmetic and work with some of Maple's formatting as well as mathematical constants. Make sure your cursor is blinking inside this dashed box first. Here's a basic addition problem where I type the numbers and the plus sign from the keyboard. Hit enter and Maple produces the output on a separate numbered line. Subtraction works the same way. For multiplication, make sure you indicate an asterisk or star in between the numbers you are multiplying. Maple does not recognize juxtaposition for multiplication, so you can't just put the numbers or variables next to each other. Note that Maple changes the asterisk to a dot. When you enter in division, type the slash symbol to divide, but notice that Maple changes this to a vertical fraction when you do. To navigate between the top and bottom of a fraction, use the up and down arrow keys. Notice that Maple automatically reduces the fraction to lowest form and leaves it as a fraction. If you wanted to convert this exact fraction to a decimal, type eval f, then open parenthesis, then the expression you want to approximate, and then close parenthesis, then hit enter to get the approximation. Notice that the parentheses automatically resize to fit the contents. Eval f the F stands for floating point, which is a term referring to decimals, is the standard Mabel command for approximating any numerical quantity. To raise to a power, use the caret key, or shift, then the number 6. Notice that again, Mabel formats this in pretty print, so the exponent really looks like an exponent. To navigate in and out of the exponent, use the left-right arrow keys. Finally, let's look at how to enter in two important mathematical constants, pi and e. To enter in pi, type capital P, lowercase i, and hit enter. Notice that Maple is case sensitive. If we type in lowercase p, lowercase i, or all capitals p and i, Maple will not recognize this as the constant we want. Once we've entered in capital P, lowercase i, we hit enter. To see an approximation, wrap the pi in eval f. To get the number e, the base of the natural logarithm, it's a little tricky. We can't just type e at the keyboard because Maple will interpret that as a variable named e. Instead, we type exp, open parenthesis, 1, close parenthesis. exp is the function e to the x. The 1 in parentheses means we are evaluating this function at x equals 1. So exp of 1 is e to the first power, which is just e itself. The next screencast will explore exp and other mathematical functions built into Maple. Thanks for watching.